Alrighty, David Harry here. And this video is one of my SSD speed test videos. And very specifically with this one, I'm going to be using the Sabrent Rocket NVMe PCIe M.2 SSD, which is the two terabyte version. Now, what it is with this particular video, I'm going to kind of like bypass a bunch of the things I would normally want to do with these kind of test things because I've already done a quick test of this uh, this SSD and I have to say I'm very disappointed with it so what I'm going to do is just show the results in, in the real world compared to what uh, well what basically Sabrin say that the driver is capable of but also what the synthetic is saying as well from Crystal Disk Mark. Okay, so what I'm gonna do just straight away, I'm gonna just start off the Crystal Disk Mark and then carry on talking as this is going on. But first off, let me just show you here. I've got two drives here to test. I mean, there's my boot drive anyway, but the D drive is the Sabrent and it's, it's basically just freshly formatted so there's no data on it. And then the E drive there is my one terabyte um, 970 EVO Plus. Now that there is almost crammed to the gills. Now this is going to become very important later when I show you the performance of this drive despite the fact it's only got 2% left on it. Okay, so let me select Z, uh, let me select D there. So zero is on it. So it's definitely blank and let me just start it. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to talk for a bit, explain a bit more whilst Crystal Disk Mark is running for the Sabrent. And then what I'll do, I'll speed through this test once I've finished a bit of chattering. And then I'll go through and do the same thing with the, with the, the what's in the Samsung. And then I'll do the real world test, which is what's going to become very important here. Okay, so basically this particular drive is like it's £250 is its normal price on Amazon. Every now and then you might be able to get deals on it. But at £250, you're going to expect this drive to do exactly what it says it should be doing. Unfortunately, it is not. Now, I've read some reports about various drives in the rocket range from Sabrent, and I thought to myself, well, you know, I'll take it on board what other people have said in some of their comments, but there's nothing better than testing these things for yourself. Now, what it is, you know, obviously I'm running like a series of SSD speed test videos and whatnot from my YouTube channel, but that's only because I buy a lot of SSDs from my various computers and whatnot. And then right now, I definitely need a two terabyte one. And I thought, well, this, this seems to fit the bill. It's really fast and it's going to keep up with me Samsung. And it's got a larger data area for me to do a lot of video stuff in. But I've got to say straight away, I'm massively, massively disappointed with it. So a lot of the reports that I'd read um, on Amazon um my results seem to be kind of falling in line with what other people have been saying now to be fair though i will do a follow-up video to this one because i'm going to get in touch with sabrent and the seller on amazon just to ask them can they explain the, these these results from this video and whatnot and what their solution is and if i don't get any kind of like you know something back off them handy as a, as a response it's definitely going back for a refund without a doubt and then at that point i'll definitely do a video about me you know my whole experience with it but right now this video is just so people can see exactly what i've you know ended up coming out of the you know out of the tests with as far as this drive is concerned and it's also being done so i can play it to sabrent and the seller on amazon okay so what i'm going to do now i'm just going to whiz through a bit so i'll fast forward this until i get to the end of these results here okay so what it is i'm not going to completely dissect all of these figures here what we what we're really mostly interested in is this top line here so we've got a read speed there of 3352.9 megabytes per second just in fairness i'm going to round it down to 3300 and on the right side we've got 2728.45 megabytes per second again i'm going to round that down to 2700 now what i'm going to do is just put that to one side and then what i'll do let me just uh, open up a window and i'm going to do the same thing now for my samsung drive okay so here we go then here's my samsung drive which is the e drive so let me just start the test on that so basically what i'm going to do here is just get to the end let's see again the top line speeds here and then we'll compare that to the sabrent and then we'll go on and do the real world disk tests because these figures here definitely are not tallying up with the real world disk speed test that I'm doing, as in 
proper data dumping and copying files these figures just do not translate whatsoever okay so let me just get to the end of this and then we'll carry on okay so now that the samsung has finished its test there or its run through you can see you know a straight off comparison there of all the numbers that are on the screen but like i say i'm only interested in the top line here now the reason why i'm only interested in the top line because that represents the fastest speed possible which is basically large chunks of sequential data which is exactly what i will test shortly so on that basis i'm just going to round down these figures off the uh, the samsung as well so the samsung i'm going to call that 3000 500 for its read and 3300 for its write now the reason why i'm rounding down is just because it, it actually gives a little bit more leeway back to the drives as well but importantly what we need to understand here is that on both the read and the write the samsung is faster than the sabrent now the reason why i've got to make that point perfectly clear is because the samsung cannot slow down the results from the sabrent now with that said let me just lay out some windows here so we can start seeing some files being duped and stuff okay so now to the next part of the testing which is what i'm referring to as the real world speed testing as in proper this is what people do copying files so as you can see just at a glance there's our figures up here so there's the sabrent there's the samsung and then down here this is the samsung and down here this is the sabrent now the, just again just let me make it really important right now the samsung has only got two percent empty disk space and the reason why i'm overemphasizing that is because despite that the samsung isn't being hindered by anything and then the sabrent is on like got no data on it being freshly formatted so it is in the best possible position but i already know that the samsung is still operating at 98 percent the way it does at one percent it's amazing it's, it is a very good drive now also just before i do this i can tell you right now that the samsung these top line numbers up here that the samsung or that was seen from crystal disc mark which or also is very similar to what samsung publish when you do real world data dumping you're not a million miles away from this samsung's figures are very close to what you actually get from the drive in the real world right now watch this so single large file let's start that okay so that's 2200 gigabytes per second so it's not 3000 but you wouldn't be that well you would be bothered because it's not as much but let's just see what happens so already it's a, it's a third less than what it was saying as far as its write speeds now it's took a dive so obviously what's happened there it's gone through some caching or buffering routine and this is your real world disk speed now so that there is 1.0405 i'm just again going to round that down slightly so that i'm going to call that a gigabyte or 1000 um 1000 megs uh, megabytes per second but as we can see that's 1000 megabytes per second on a write speed compared to 2728 it's almost a third of that speed so that to me is extremely disappointing and as we can see it it's it's proper leveled out there that's not going to get any better right so i'm not going to speed up at this point i'll just let this do its thing here i'll just give us an idea as to what's going on hold on there we go so that consistently leveled out at just over a thousand megabytes per second which is nowhere near 2728 now what it is here i've got a folder which has got a number of video files in so i'm going to drag that across and let's just see what that does as well okay so it's going to start off high like it's done there but well a lot quicker that's took a dive now that's bottoming out there again around the same mark in fact that's gone slightly less there okay right that's getting even lower that right with this one i'm just going to speed it up and get to the end of it okay so with that gone through there what we've seen is that it was slightly less it was it was going under the thousand but just to be fair i'm just going to even it up or round it up to the thousand so on both that one large file which is 86 gigabytes in size and then this folder here which consists of 11 different video files ranging from anywhere from like 0.7 gig up to 7 gig in size which is typical of like video files you would want them to be move about it's roughly a thousand megabytes per second on its write speed 
which is nowhere near the 2728 which is what we're getting told up here okay and also uh, if you are if you're going to check out the sabrent figures as well which are i think slightly higher than that as well for the race it's nowhere near that as well okay so what i'm going to do now is go for this one here now what it says on here is lots of small files what it is, anyone who's been familiar with any of these other videos that I've done will know that these are my standard test files for moving stuff around. So this has got, let's have a quick look. This has basically got 16,500 files inside 1,811 folders and all inside 672 megabytes. So this consists of extremely tiny, tiny bits of data. This is all basically uh, backups from a web server. So some of my websites, which consists of tons of tiny, tiny like .php, .js files and all the rest of it. So there's a lot of picture files in there as well. Let me just get that on the go as I'm talking. And as you can see there, that started off in the range of kilobytes per second, okay. We're up to a couple of megabytes. Yeah, okay. I mean, you are going to see like pretty bad results for this type of data anyway because of the nature of the data it's all like it's, it's as you can see 16 and a half thousand bits of tiny data so anything will struggle with this to be honest but those what we're seeing there those speeds are a lot lower than what i'd be expecting to see um i'd be expecting to see something in the regions of what's being touted here on this bottom line for the actual sabrans but yeah it doesn't seem like we're getting that okay right what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna fast forward through this as well okay so there we have it then so we got to the end of there and you've seen them numbers there you may you know or you come to your own conclusion over them numbers but i'm telling you now that they're a lot lower or a lot smaller than what they should be now what i'm gonna do here i'm gonna delete all the source files from the Samsung drive, right? And then what we're gonna do is now test the the read speed of the Sabrin, because I'm gonna put them files back over there. Okay, so I'll start off with the single big file. Now don't forget, read speed here is saying 3,352. Now our write speed is 3,326 here, so it's near, near, near about the same. So I would expect somewhere in the region of 3,000 here. And I know full well that the Samsung is capable of it. Now watch this. So single large massive file. Now 1.84, that's still not, yeah. That's, well, I don't know. That I'm not happy with that because it's just not, three, it's not, it's not over 3,000, is it? Now it's going down a bit there, 1.6 and whatnot. So that's almost half the speed. Now, you know, people might sit there and think to themselves, well, look, you know, these are still, you know, fast speeds and whatnot, they're faster than SATA. Well, it's like, well, yeah, and the thing is, you don't buy a drive so it can be half or a third of the speed that you think it's going to be just because it is fast. I mean, for the likes of me and people who do stuff like me, which is video editing, you're using large, large, massive, you know, folders where you need them moved around really quickly. It's the whole reason for buying a, a drive like this. <laughs> As you can see there, 1.6. Uh, which is six well 1600 megabytes per second which is less than half of what it says it can do now again i'll take these for the, the folder with the files in so this is the individual video files starts off at just over 1.8 so started off at just over 1800 and like i say i must stress here as well the bottleneck is not the system i'm running on i9 9900k uh, my video files are being recorded to a separate drive, not the two that are being used. Uh, I've got 32 megabytes of fast RAM, great motherboard, blah, blah. And also, my Samsung disk is well capable of getting very close to what it says it can do. And as we can see there, I'm going to say 1,600 for that. So again, basically half the speed. Now, let's do this. Lots of small files back. Okay. Right, so that seems to take a little bit longer on its read to get up to speed. Um, yeah, I'm not going to labour the point on this particular test now, so let me just speed through and get to the end and do a bit of a summary.
Okay, so there's the reading of the like folder with tons of small files in. And just like the writing of that folder to the Sabrent, neither of those results were impressive at all. They were really bad as far as I was concerned, both the read and the write. Probably the, the read might have even been worse than what you would expect as well. Now, weirdly with this, the boot drive on this particular computer is an old um, MSATA Samsung disk of 128. And what it is, I've put it, in, weirdly, funny enough, in a Sabrent M.2 to SATA enclosure. And that's what I use to boot from and stuff and what Windows is on. Now, that particular disk is a, will run them speeds there about twice as fast as what the Sabrent NVMe can do it. So there's definitely something really wrong with this Sabrent disk. Okay, so summarizing here then, uh, I'll try and keep this short because I, I must stress, you know, this particular test is not in the same format as my other ones to do with like, you know, testing SSDs and stuff because this has been more about showing a problem. And just again, to make the point clear, I'm doing this mostly so I've got a video to, you know, show to Sabrent and also the reseller on Amazon just so I can get some definitive answers as to what's going on here because I will do another video and readdress it. And if indeed there's something that's going to make this better, I will definitely show all that. But right now, what we're seeing, this drive is purporting to have a read speed of 3,300 and the best we were seeing out of it as an average was 1,600. So basically half the speed. Then on the right side, or the writing speed for the disc for the Sabrent, we're talking 2,700. Um, we were lucky to be seeing a thousand on average there as well. So almost a third of the speed. So that's like, you know, about 33% less than what it's, you know, reporting. Anyway, I think you can clearly see from what's gone on here that this Sabrent disc is absolutely nowhere near what it should be. And like I say, I won't dwell on this too much in this particular video because maybe there's some stuff that Sabrent can, or you know, more information Sabrent can give me or the reseller and stuff. So anyway, what I'm gonna do is call it a day with this video right now. And like I say, this is this one has been a little bit different from the other, the other videos that I've been doing for the SSDs and that. It's just because this one, I was just straight away so disappointed because what it is I need like at least three to four terabytes worth of video space but and more more specifically very fast solid state and the only way to do that is NVMe and as anybody who's you know, doing similar stuff will know you know even a one terabyte NVMe drive is very expensive that Samsung for instance was like 200 pound or 220 pound although I have to say I have not been disappointed with the performance of the Samsung. It has held up to what it said it was gonna do for me. I've been really, really pleased with the Samsung. But I've gotta be honest, I couldn't afford to buy a two terabyte or, or bigger in the Samsung range as far as their NVMEs are concerned. So that's when I looked at Sabrent. And I've gotta say right now, I really wish I hadn't spent that money because one way or the other, you know, it looks like the drive's going to be going back. Well, this definitely will be going back. Whether it gets replaced or whatnot is a different matter. And I will report on that anyway further down the line. Anyways, yeah, I, th I think you can kind of know where I'm at at the moment. And you can probably hear in my voice that I'm very frustrated. And I've done really well, I think, not to swear in this video. So let's call it a day now before I start, like, losing me rag and stuff. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, uh, keep an eye on this situation. And I'll, I'll do an update to this as soon to find out stuff and whatnot and if you've liked the video you know please give it a thumbs up uh, subscribe to my channel and consider hitting that bell notification icon thing and whatnot and also as well i, I do plan on making um, a what's the name up a, a playlist all to do with drives and speed testing and stuff like that so that will grow over time so if you're into that stuff look out for the playlist there'll be links and stuff as that starts developing okay anyways i'm david harry thank you very much for watching this video take care and goodbye now Thank you.